In this video, I wanna go over the little bit kit and the first things that you need to do when you get your kit and how to set it up in the app so you can have maximum enjoyment out of your kit, your battery, and your setup as a whole. And just because I know you're gonna ask, the battery in here is the 76 volt, 20 amp hour variety from Electron Company, and the swing arm is a bolt-on swing arm from Midwest Mini Mods. Just to answer y'all's questions, because I know I'll get them in the comments. The one thing, guys, when you guys have this kit installed is plug it all in, right? You're excited. You want to see that motor spin. You want to see how fast it is. You want to hear it. You want to tell your boys, oh, man, this thing's going to rip. Don't do that. Go into the app. Download the app from the App Store. Get it from either the App Store or the Android Store. Get the app. Open it up. Go into the settings. And you're going to need to pair the motor with the controller. It just takes a second. Make sure the rear end of the bike is kind of lifted up. The motor's going to spin. It's going to do some noises. It's going to go back and forth. That's going to ensure that the motor has the best pairing with the controller in the position of where that motor is. And also, too, it's never good to fully rev the bike with no load on the motor. It's not. It's just, it's just not good. It's, I wouldn't do it. So don't do that. And also, too, if you have the bike on a stand, and it's charging don't rev up the motor I wouldn't even really I wouldn't even manipulate the throttle if the bike is on the charger let alone if the battery's full it's on the charger uh, from what I've heard that that can damage the controller so so don't do that just a couple precautionary things I don't want to set you up for failure if I know the information I want to tell you the information and I want you to be happy with the purchase that you made and I want you to go fast and I want you to comment on this video and tell me how fast you went. And if you found any value in this video, I want you to like the video. And then if you really like the video, I want you to subscribe. And if you really, really like the video, I want you to watch the other videos. All right, let's go. All right guys, so once you have your app downloaded and you go into the settings, you look, you're gonna click that little hamburger icon on the top left. It's gonna bring you to a screen that looks like this, okay? And the controller can be used in a plethora of different bikes or applications beside razors. But in here, it gives you the option. We are running it in a Razor, so we're gonna select Razor. If you have an ENC battery, they already have the drop downs here for you to pick what battery you have. But let's just say you are going to run a Amherst battery. All right, you can go in here to Other. ENC gave you a little cheat sheet here. If you are running a 72 volt battery, you're gonna put in here cells in series, put in there 20, okay? And the cheat sheet here goes as written from the sheet that ENC will include with your controller. If you're running 48 volts, that's 13 cells in series, 52 volts, that's 14 cells in series, 60 volts is 16 cells in series, 72 volts, 20 cells in series, and the max that the little bit kit can take is 76 volts, and that will lead you to 21 cells in series. So. If you're gonna run a 72 volt battery, let's just say from Amridge, you got that. You're gonna max discharge amps, let's just say 120, and our max charge rate is 10, okay, 10 amps. And we're gonna scroll on through. The battery that's in this bike is a 76 volt, 20 amp hour, 150 amp battery, okay? So I'm just gonna select that for this purpose. But if you had a different battery, you would just go to other. The motor that I have in here, I mentioned it earlier, is the EC4P. My motor is a pre-light, it is a pre-the one motor. So we're just gonna go over here to EC4P, and it says here that it's been selected, and it'll also accept the 10 MY1020. And I think there's even an updated version coming out for this at the time of recording this, because I thought that it read bomb moto motor on the website. We'll double check. The throttle here, my throttle is a Suron ETS-2. It also says it here in the paper. I'll show you here, your throttle, it tells you ETS-2. Now, the one thing that I wanna show you guys is how easy it is to manipulate the performance of this bike. If you're new to controllers and you're new to electric toys, or I call them gray toys, because they're not really toys anymore after we do what we do to them. And the, the one thing I wanna show you is how easy it is to adjust the power. So if you go over here to the slide bars, it'll tell you how many kilowatts, approximately how many battery amps it's going to take as you slide these bars around. So you can play with this. You don't have to know any numbers. You don't have to know PID. You don't have to know phase. You don't have to know, you know a whole bunch of other information that maybe otherwise would be confusing, for example, in the Far Driver app. Far Driver controllers, I think, are great. But sometimes it's intimidating for people to plug in their controller for the first time, do the auto learn process, and then go through the process of setting up their far driver for the first time or manipulating the settings to get a desired outcome. But the one thing about this app, and I'll show you here, as I already have you on the screen, but it's super easy. It's a slide bar, power, torque, throttle aggression. Yeah, 60% throttle aggression, speed, 65 miles an hour approximate with 9,500 RPMs on the, on the speed. I can dial that down, the regen. 
One thing I will say about Regen is if you are running a Razor and you have the free wheel on your rear wheel, which means that when you stop your acceleration, the chain stops, the motor stops, and you coast. That's a free wheel. If you have a welded free wheel, which means the, the rear sprocket is welded to the hub or the free wheel is welded in a solid position on the wheel, the motor will turn in the opposite direction when you let off of the throttle and that's going to in turn give the battery a small amount of recharge. That's your regen, but you have to have a welded free wheel or a solid mounted sprocket to the hub in order to take advantage of the regen. A free wheel, no go. The gear ratio down here, you can enter that in here, just select the, the, the number, and you don't have to do the math. You don't have to do the math at all. My front sprocket is a 10. It's a 10 tooth front sprocket. My rear is a 61, so I'm gonna put that in there. Done, done. It saves it, 6.1, that's my gear ratio. My wheel diameter, I am running a SX MX rear wheel. It's a 10 inch rim, so it's already selected for me. My controller name, we're gonna put it in there as Voltron Rules. And one good thing about that is like, so example, when we're riding on our Thursday night rides in the ride or die group, we have a handful of these guys who are running these controllers. Sometimes if we are all powering our bikes on at the same time and we want to manipulate our settings, we can just go in here. You can name your controller so that when everybody or more than one person is accessing their controller settings, you know which one is yours. The change motor direction is for if you are taking the motor so let's just say on our SX, our RSFs and the dirt bikes that we are, are upgrading, the chain drive is on the right side. But if you're installing this kit in a quad, you're gonna take that motor and you're gonna turn it on the other direction, right? Now your chain drive is on the left side. So you need to change that motor direction so that the forward direction of the motor is sending you forward. Otherwise you'd just be going backwards. So that's what that's for, change motor direction. The mode switch, uh, I don't know exactly what mode switch is for, but I'm gonna go on a limb and say that maybe it's for the three-speed switch, which my bike has and a little bit comes with a three-speed switch. I have not messed with it. Mine came enabled. And if I find something else that's different, I will let you know. What I wanna show you here and iterate is if you have a problem with your setup, say your throttle, your motor, your controller, you can go in here, you can troubleshoot and you can email your diagnostics to Electro & Co and they can see on their end what exactly is happening between the communication of those three components and hopefully help you out and get you down the road. Factory reset controller, it's pretty self-explanatory. Another feature in the app is called drag mode. The drag mode will time you from zero to 30 miles per hour, zero to 60 miles per hour. It'll tell you what your speed is. It'll tell you cell health in that drag. And we're gonna go over a couple more things as we demonstrate the capabilities of this little bit kit. So going into the True Moto app, I'm gonna get my little bit here, a little bit selected, load it all up. Look at that app, so pretty. Battery's at 95%. We're gonna try this drag mode feature right here. Let's go drag mode enabled. The dashboard will now show zero to 30 and zero to 60 times. Let's see what this feature can do for our bike. One, two, three, send it. check out what the screen says real quick it says drag time running 13.61 seconds zero okay so we went for 13.6 seconds just now our zero to 30 time was 3.1 seconds zero to 60 we didn't hit 60 on this run watts was nine kilowatts sag per cell 0.39 and our gear ratio is a six to one so those, that gear ratio, you guys set up in the settings and as well as that wheel diameter. But that's a lot of useful information right there. Look at that. Run number two on the Voltron Watts testing ground. Let's go. Round two, total drag time, 15.8 seconds. Zero to 30 time was three seconds. Zero to 60, we did hit 60 this time. 
was 13.3 seconds max speed 60.3 miles per hour 9,000 kilowatts and it tells you the rest of that stuff here damn that is really nice feature right there i'm gonna use that